Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with AP Physics uh, free response questions. So let's take a look at the next one here. Um, this is circular motion, and as as usual, I recommend you pause pause the video, read the problem, try to work it out, and then once you've gotten as far as you can or you have all your answers, then continue watching the video and compare. And this is a good way to practice uh, for the AP Physics exam. A ball of mass M is attached to a string of length R, a negligible mass. The ball moves clockwise in a vertical circle as shown above. When the ball is at point P, the string is horizontal. Point Q at the bottom of the circle and point Z at the top of the circle. Um, air resistance is negligible. Express all algebraic answers in terms of given quantities and fundamental constants. On the figures below, draw and label all forces exerted on the ball when the points at P and Q. Okay. So it's going a vertical one. So here it's feeling gravity. Here it's feeling the for tension from the string. And um, yeah, here it's feeling gravity down here. And here it's also feeling another tension in the string. So I I was a little confused as to um, this thing would have to accelerate downward, but that just means it's going to slow down a little bit. So that's okay. Derive an expression for v-min, the minimum speed the ball can have at a point z without leaving the circular path. Uh, okay, so at point z, We have two forces. So this is point Z. I have mg down, and I also have tension down. What happens is as I slow down, like the net force is equal to ft plus mg. And that's equal to mv squared over r, right? Well, because this is equal to ma, right? ma, and what? And this is feeling centripetal acceleration. So if I solve for v, um, v squared is equal to ft plus mg times r divided by m. And so v is equal to the square root of ft plus mg r over m. Now the minimum this can be is when uh, ft equals 0, right? And there's no tension in the rope. Like the gravity is just the minimum amount because that will make v the smallest if this is 0. V, uh, tension can't be negative. I can't. The tension can't be pushing on on the ball. So v min would then be equal to square root of m g r over m. M's cancel, so I get root g r. And that's equal to the square root of 9.8 meters per second squared times r. What do they say r was? R was. Uh, Oh, just in turn, yeah, they didn't give you numbers. Just express everything in terms of variables. The maximum tension the string can have without breaking is T max. Derive an expression for V max, the maximum speed of all can have point Q without breaking the string. So T max is, okay. So here at point Q, the net force is equal to FT minus MG. Because I'm always going to say when I do these kinds of problems that directed towards in circular motion, directed towards the center is positive. The po that's the positive direction. And that's equal to m v squared over r. It's equal to m, you know, net force equals ma, but a is v squared over r. That's the only really only difference in circular motion. You do net force, and a, instead of being a linear acceleration, is equal to v squared over r. So again, solving for v squared. I get ft minus mg times r over m. And so v is equal to root ft minus mg r over m. When at the the maximum v can be is when the tension is at maximum at t max. So this is equal to square root of t max minus mg times r over m. Suppose that the string breaks the instant the ball is at point P 
Describe the motion of the ball immediately after the string breaks. Um, well, at this point, the velocity is in this direction, right? So at point P, his velocity is this way. So it's going to go straight up. But then gravity is going to sort of make it fall back. It's going to go straight up, and then due to gravity, it's going to fall back down. And fall down due to gravity. Alright, hope you guys found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.